You don't want that sort of thing anymore. It's what's needed. But... Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. Mm. He got drunk and couldn't get up. Oh, actually, yes, this might help. He gave me the papers and left me at the gate. You must be used to that, though. I'm not the first novice here, am I? But that wasn't very considerate of him, was it? It's been so hectic here lately, novices arriving one after the other. The last one didn't even have a letter, and you'd think his backside was on fire. Really? The way he kept looking over his shoulder. Ah. You took him without the letter? You didn't find that suspicious? My guess is he wanted to hide from someone. And you let him in anyway. But he's a priest and knows how things work in the monastery. So there was nothing to prevent him from being accepted, at least temporarily. You're a different case, though. Are you able to read? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then. Are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? I guess so. I just realised that the food I want, that doll maker potion, is back in the inn. Might not need that. Oh, let's just go for it. I am. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monks' robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. Take care now. Yeah, I thought a long time about Walla Dog, that one Walla Dog. I didn't want to... I was thinking, do I want to bring anything with me? Do I want to try and sneak anything in? Hmm. I think I'm good. I think I've got Jesus, everything I want. Look where you're going. So, where do I go? Put away all your worldly goods and chattels. Oh, not in here. Okay. We're starting the monastery quest. Huh? Boy, I can't half run fast no. without being weighted down with all that crap. <laughs> right. Where was it? Was it up the stairs? Or was it in one of these? Um, oh, it's here, right? Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realise how much I'd grown used to it. Oh! Oh! That's put all my quest prepared. items in there. It's time for you to take your vows. You must remember to get those well, out really afterwards. Have to wear this. You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Oh, God. Oh, cheers, Walla Dog. Um, yeah, catch her around. Take it easy. Right. He has seen the light. <laughs> oh, no. Impressive building. Yeah, that's it, Pan. Those habits they have, they're that colour because they get one habit for life and it never gets washed. I guess mine will look like that once I've rolled around in my own shit and vomit a few times. <laughs> Oh, I'll get him back, Pedro. Yeah, definitely. It's all the important quest items that I'm, I think I'm worried about going in there. Did you say a few weeks when I'm being done being a monk? A few Brothers weeks in, in here? We have gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Opus Dei, obedientia, obprobria, the service of God, obedience, 
and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. Sustipe me, Domine, secundum eloquium tuum et vivam. Et non confundas me, ab expectatione mea. Oh, bollocks. Suski pay me domine secundum in loquium tum et viva in loquium tum vivam et non confundas me. Ab expectatione me. Go on, Henry. Accept your new name, Brother Gregor. Oh, I'll go with that. And wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. Sing it long if you know the words. You reckon I'll get through it in no time, but I bet some people have taken ages to get through this bit. Oh, God. Wasn't I supposed to kill all the priests, not join them? Uh, green tea, that sounds like a good plan. Achievement unlocked, monk. Welcome, brother. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect oh, and what your duties no. will be. This is a bit I don't want to do. You have to go and pray and sleep and eat and stuff at the right time. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? Hmm. I'm being punished? Those are all lies. Let's go for the bottom one. This might be sound. This might be right. I haven't quite got my bearings yet. Could we talk about it later? Very well. I'll leave you alone for now. But don't fret. You'll find your feet soon enough. Okay, now this is what we Would you know. tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite unexpected. Oh, really? Let's go then. Good. But before we do, here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening, so you know how things work. Mm. Right. So today, I get this is my Follow like. Follow me uh, closely. I'll explain everything. Easy day, go. I think. Remember is one this like word. part of some other this quest that requires you to become a monk, or did you just decide that enough with fun? Pray. I think it is now, pan not part of another quest. Needs. You must follow somebody. Slow down to a walk with caps lock. That way, you won't alert. You won't alert anyone. Who's this guy? Salve. Be well. Circa to John. Um, you learned about abbots of Sassau Monastery, did I? This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. Takes a bit of getting used to. I bet it bloody does. I've never been much of a mornings person. How many of these people am I going to have to murder to get the right one? The if, I, step if I kill them all... This is the garden. A place for silent contemplation and meditation. Oh, Centuries ago, plenty of herbs. this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found so. in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. <laughs> Really? So beware. Here are the fratery and scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, this you sounds must always so listen dull. to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior, 
and the cicadas, who Who's punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Come now, I don't want to still be showing you around at midnight. No, by midnight I this intend to have looted the place. Where we come together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of Saint Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts... Okay, what's that torch? Book. The library, the pride of our monastery, a trove of learning. We don't just read books here, we also copy them. You too will learn how. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. Awesome. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Yodok. Okay. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. So basically, I have to figure out, tell him about your search for Pius. That is a hell of a risk. I'm looking to go to some lockpicks. <laughs> oh, crap, yeah, I can't open anything without lockpicks. Hmm. Will you tell me something about yourself? There's not much to tell. I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novices that did. Uh. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. <laughs> Shall I ask him about some lockpicks? <laughs> That's... Uh, I don't know about that. I'd like that. to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Right, Pan, I've decided I am not going to be stuck on this in a couple of weeks' time after three or four more streams. I want this finished by 11 o'clock UK time tonight. That's the goal. Let's see how realistic that is. Gives me two hours and 16 minutes. Let's go. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot... Hi, Lawrence. It's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. Electing the abbot? Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevlas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevelas is definitely the right man. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Hmm, interesting. We can't talk to them, can we not? What are the roles of the various monks here? Someone takes care of the library, someone else the garden. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. But it's the circators you should worry about. They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rule. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer, as if you didn't know. Sounds fun. We serve God, and that's the central truth of our lives. See, Henry's finally reformed. Oh, let's just wait and see what happens next, eh? <laughs> Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. If he kills all the people in the monastery, we'll make it before 11 o'clock strange country time. <laughs> so that's my best bet. Kill everyone in the monastery. Are there already candidates okay. to be the new abbot? Brothers John and Nevelas, but the others have been fighting like dogs because of them. We don't have to fight about anything, though. This John, who is he? A circator, and really just an unpleasant old man. 
It's mostly the older brothers on his side, because they believe he'll protect the status quo and all the benefits that come with long service here. God, I don't want to get embroiled in monastery politics. Tell me something about Nevlas. Nevlas manages the monastery's property. He's what they call the provost. He'd like to bring back solemnity to the monastery through reform and by returning to pure faith. A lovely idea, but most of the monks are against it. It sounds dull as hell. Why can't novices vote? They say we don't have enough experience to decide about anything. Don't worry, we'll get our chance. Hmm. Piece of advice that will give you a book with the times of the duties. Look it up and stick to it at Night Explore. Cheers. Why is who wins so important? We're young and we'll spend the rest of our lives here. And the abbot decides everything about our lives. Didn't it ever occur to you how powerful he is? I don't really care. Okay, I think we've got one information. I haven't listened to half of that properly, I'll be honest. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Have I done this bit? Oh, I've done that bit. Great. Well, that's all. Oh, no, Thank no, no, time, no. No, talk. What is it, brother? This is going to sound so funny. I'm looking to get hold of some lockpicks. <laughs> this is going to be a bad idea. Um. Ah, oh, do it, do it. It occurred to me you might be the man to ask. I'm looking for some lockpicks. Do you know anyone in the monastery who could help me? Lockpicks? You surprise me, brother. And you, a nobleman's oh. son. But you could ask Brother Solarius. They say he used to be a thief. I thought that would get me into a load of trouble. Should I tell him about the search for Pius? I quite like this guy. This might out me straight away. We know about... He was going to elect... Who would you choose as the new I can't remember who he was going to elect, actually. Why should I even think about that when I don't have the right to vote? Gregor, don't go poking your nose into other people's business. You'll sleep better at night. Very good point. Let's just very quickly... Oh, no! Oh, all my saviour schnapps and everything are on the horse. Uh, I mean, the... They're in the inn. I can't save the game. Oh, I've got to do the... Oh, crap. I was going to save the game quickly there. Then if I, if I have to reload this, I'm at a point where I don't have to go through the damn tour again. Oh, dear me. Is it MKB time? What's MKB time? Um, Brother novices, the following schedule describes the daily activities you shall attend to in your first years in our monastery. Order and discipline are the cornerstones upon which the Order of St. Benedict is built. Any violations of this schedule, thus marked, shall be disciplined by punishment of solitary confinement. When it is meditation that you seek, prayer and study can be substituted for food and sleep. Oh, no, it can't. 3 a.m. start of the day. 4 a.m. morning prayer. 6 a.m. common meal. 8 a.m. work in the frattery, assigned by Brother Nevelis. 12 noon work in the library. 4 p.m. afternoon worship, 6 p.m. Vespers common supper, 7 p.m. compline, free time before retiring, 9, 9 p.m. rest and nighttime curfew. Oh, God, this is going to be a gummy thing to fit into. Oh, my God. Um, it's currently... That's 21 hours. Jesus Christ, it's late, so I have very little time to do anything here. Maim, kill, burn. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Don't sleep at night. What I'll probably do then is go to bed at when it says, but wake up at midnight or something when everyone else is supposedly asleep. Right, I have been through all these places before, haven't I? I've already robbed this place as far as I'm aware. Evil morals in Bohemia. Am I still on walk mode? Right, get that off. Oh, hello. Praise be to Christ, brother. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. But I've no time for idle chat. I transcribe books from dawn till dusk. I've been doing it for years and I'll be doing it till the day I die. Wow. What, you do nothing else? That's dedication. It is my penance and my blessing. And now, brother, if you don't mind, I'd like to get this page finished. Okay. Did I find all the maps? I think there's some more... Uh... More treasure maps and stuff to get in. The bookstore in there aren't for your eyes to see. That's wide open. 
That's because I robbed them. I remember robbing that place. Okay, I don't think there's anything I need in here. I need to go and find that brother so-and-so. Can't remember his name. Don't have a lock pick. I thought Master Thief, you know? Give it a tap in the right area. Uh, you can always sleep and save there, that's true. I guess I'll be sleeping pretty soon anyway. What's that? Is that a blood stain? Or just some spilled wine? We'll go with spilled wine, eh? Unless that has something to do... Ooh, maybe. Maybe something to pay attention to for later. Right, I need to have a look at the map. Not going to be the most helpful map ever, is it? Is there a way out at the other side of this? Don't even look at that cabinet. It That's contains locked. forbidden books. Well, shut the doors in it then. Okay. Do I get into trouble for running around this place or not? Hell's down here. I've got no torch, right? I've got no torch. Hell of a conversation. There's one of the brothers. Uh, one of the novices. Let's go and find out who that is. In a rush to pray. It is Novice Siskin. My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. But are you here of your own free will or is this a punishment? Although it's not important. Welcome to Purgatory. Oh, he doesn't Did think it's uh, he doesn't think it's very nice here. You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Um and trust him, I don't think so. Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. What if you told me there's a way to find and kill Pius without becoming a monk? What, like sneaking in? Well, it's too late now. We're in here. Oh, we can we can talk this guy around. Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to ah. think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. Oh. And also because I really hate the question... Aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka of Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching, so he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, a lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. You're right, Zarya. He does sound like the Night's Watch, doesn't it? From Game of Thrones. Uh, okay. But you didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg alms by the city gate. I had one choice. The monastery or nothing. If it had hmm. come to that after my father's death, so be it. But to get rid of me while he's still alive... Yeah, that's a bit, a bit grim, is that? They must have realized you robbed them. <laughs> I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder. Why not? See you Indeed then, Smegley. So. Thanks for joining us tonight. Have a good, uh, yeah, week. It's only Monday, isn't it? Have a good week and maybe catch you on the next one. What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver and run off somewhere, far, far away from here. Sounds like a plan. That's all I wanted to know. Please, keep it to yourself. Especially the part about the coin. Certainly will. Whoa, 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 there's loads more to talk about. Um, go on, then. I'm still curious about this treasure trove of yours. It's no big, terrible secret. Really, it isn't. I just go and read during services. There's no time otherwise. I mean, at other times, I don't get to read what I like. And I keep it under the slab so the others don't find it. Hmm. I'll leave you be. I'll leave you be. Don't worry. I won't follow you Whoa, again. hang on. Thank you. And please, Gregor. That was supposed to be mention somewhere else. To anyone. Naturally. How is it that you don't get any penance for missing morning prayers? I've paid off the circators to turn a blind eye. Ah. And the other monks don't notice as long as you show your face there from time to time. No one's too awake at that time of the morning. 
Okay, I wonder if I can get away with that. I'd be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. You can actually find his tre treasure. Just be careful not to take it too soon. You risk having it confiscated by a monk. Cheers. Tell me about Antonius. Well, if there was a monk I'd recommend as a friend, with, of course, the exception of myself, hmm. it would be Antonius. He has a calm soul. He's easy to talk to, and you can always rely on him. Good. I think that's it, then. That's all. Thanks. Now, I saw one. Oh, is there anything else? Do I need Who to know? Who would you elect, Who would you elect? if you could? Most likely Nevlas. He's a fine fellow and he seems honest. But truth be told, it doesn't matter much to me. A monastery will still be a monastery, no matter who's in charge. If you really want to talk more about it, ask Antonius. He seems to have taken an interest. There is a whole lot of people to talk to. And I do not want to have to go around trying to persuade them to vote for one side or the other. Oh, who's that? Ah, I need to talk to him. That's good time. I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. Confess. And you are? Pious. Lucas, also a novice. Sounds don't like Pius. get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Guilty. Will you tell me something about yourself? Guy, there's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where yes. you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. It's him. Nothing else matters. It's him. Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Okay, tell me about the other I'd novices I'd like to know then. something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. Mm, I'm pretty convinced about these. What can you tell these. me about Siskin? Not a lot. I don't know him. Actually, I don't know much about him at all. Except that he's not a stickler for rules. Now that does sound like, um... That does sound like... You really pious, don't know anything maybe. about anyone? I don't know. Well, thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. Uh, you just finished laughing. It's another of those silly quests that set you on a merry chase that will turn out to be so obvious and really stupidly silly. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll find out. If you could, who would you vote for to be the abbot? But I can't vote. So what's the point of worry? Ask Antonius. He often talks about it, and I'm sure he has an opinion. I'm sure he does. Um, I don't think I can get anything else out of him. I suspect it's Lucas. 